I need Buju, Brock Lewis, and Disney Kaz. What Guam Kong don't you buy? I made those them. Hello, my name is uh, Brock Lewis. I come from Wuklamakong on Sea the Territory. I'm from the Odawa Nation. It is important to vote. Um, I haven't decided who I'm going to vote for, but I know who I'm not going to vote for. You know, 30 years down the road, or however long it takes me to have a grandchild, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to have to look at my grandchildren and say, I'm sorry that the same government is in power because I didn't vote, you know, and how, how their lives will be affected by that. You know, we're all responsible for our grandchildren's lives. Last year, Harper's Conservatives passed a new election law that restricted Elections Canada from promoting voting and made it harder for certain demographics to vote. The so-called Fair Elections Act brought in stricter ID requirements, making it more difficult for students, homeless, nomadic, and indigenous people to cast a vote in our elections. Most observers see this as a form of voter suppression, an undemocratic way to rig elections in their favor. That's another thing too, is identification. Uh, a lot of communities up north, um, you know, they, they don't have that access to that uh, correct identification that's needed for them to vote. And they don't have access to, to go out and get it. If you don't vote, you're, you're supporting the government in power by, by not voting because everybody else who, who wants to vote can't vote. I've been focusing a lot on time lately and how much time it takes to do something, you know, how much time it takes to create a social impact. And uh, it really takes a lot of time. It takes years. It takes years of experience and, and understanding of, of an issue and going through that process of, of healing and uh, resilience and reconciliation. But it all takes time. We're not putting the time into that that we need to to have a, a better situation in our, our government or for the environment.